foul line. A shot on Elo. Guys, the Bulls win! They win! Watch a deep one from the end zone. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to a special May 29th edition of Soccer Catch-Up Sports. Uh, thank you for tuning in. We'll get right into it. Sepp Blatter was elected as the president of FIFA again today. This really comes as no surprise to anyone who's plugged into it. He, What he does is he's like a Chicago mayor. He consolidates his power, and what he, how he does that is through the small nations. And FIFA, Togo, has the same amount of votes as Brazil. As weird as that sounds, that's what matters. He makes sure the money gets to these small nations, and they love him for it. Um, FIFA is not going to change ever, is really, in my, in my opinion. What really needs to happen if soccer is ever going to get over this corruption is the big European nations, so England, Germany, France, and other more or less developed countries, and countries that don't have this culture of bribery that exists throughout a lot of the rest of the world. The U.S. and big soccer countries like Brazil, Argentina, also maybe Japan and Korea need to break off and form their own federation. Um, this is something where they can get commensurate power to what they really mean to soccer. So, yes, Brazil matters more than the Maldives does. Um Otherwise, FIFA is going to stay the way it is. It's going to be a, a book. It's going to be a game of cronyism. Thanks for tuning in this quick edition of Catch Up Sports Soccer. Uh, tune in uh, maybe this weekend uh, when anything else develops. I'll be sure to catch everybody up. Have a good one.